Alright, so here's the schematic again. I'm um, just kind of going over some of the connections going on here. Uh, as you can see, I've already connected a lot of them, and it might look kind of crazy to you, but um, it's actually fairly simple. Um, on our 7106 chip here, we've got various LCD segments. Um, any seven segment display, this data sheet here, seven segment displays have uh, seven segments, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and each segment has its own sort of control pin, you know, as you see here, A, B, C, D, through G. So, seven, um, each one needs, you know, one pin to control it. So here we go on the 7106 chip, it's specially designed to control a three and a half digit LCD. So, you've got, you know, the first seven segments, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and obviously they just need to be connected to the corresponding pins on the LCD display. Um, I put in all the labels for the LCD, so it's actually pretty simple for me to just basically, m you know, match up the lines. Um, it's a little crazy. The uh, bad thing about this is obviously it's it's really hard to troubleshoot, you know, following these lines, but as long as you're fairly careful, then it's not really an issue. So, I'm um, just going to route these last couple lines here, or connect the last couple lines in the schematic here. So we've got D3, which happens to be up here. Um, I like to, you know, keep it at right angles make as few turns as possible. Um, another little trick here is that you, if you've got a lot of connections like this, you don't want the pins on the 7106 to be exactly lined up with the pins here, because then you're going to get lines running into each other. So I've offset them by one grid unit here, so you can see all these guys can get in between each other. So I'm just going to finish up lines routed. So it's pretty simple. Just double click here and it starts the line. Just line it up to the corresponding uh, corresponding pin on the LCD. Make sure it's not getting too crossed. Um, technically as long as you're not clicking on another line these are all crossing over each other but not connecting. Uh, only when there's a dot indicates an actual connection. So, um, AB4 is actually, let's see, where is that? On here. Uh, I forget which pin number it is. AB4 is actually the third, the, the half digit out here, so that's actually indicated by K. So we come back to PCB Artist, find the K pin, which is all the way up here in pin 3. So we're just going to drag this guy up here. Okay, so we've got a slight problem in that, you know, this area is already pretty cluttered, but we can just go up in here, and bam, connect to our K pin. And polarity is, again, it's good to check, polarity is going to be the negative pin, so we've got, that's pin Y, come back here, go to polarity, find our pin Y, which is also up there, uh oh, it's going to be kind of annoying to route all of these guys up here, luckily that's a no connection pin, yeah, it gets a little convoluted up here, but not too bad. So I've already got everything over there, got everything here all wired up. So that looks like everything's wired up. The back plane is pins 1 and 40. Alright, so that looks good. Okay, we can save that. And that's our LCD and 7106 connected together electrically.